One of my favorite things about Camtasia is the ability to output a lot of different video formats and also images and also animated GIFs. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. How to make an animated GIF that's real quick, real easy to do. Uh, I have a video I took of my son the other day and uh, he's just going in climbing up uh, a slide and uh, doing a terrible job of it, but it's fun. And uh, he falls like this and he'll fall again, but I'm gonna make a GIF of him kind of getting up falling down like that, and then kind of just have that repeat over and over in animated GIF format. Uh, so I'm gonna go and slide out and get the stuff that I need. I think about right about there is where I wanna start off everything. So I'm just gonna shorten up my clip by dragging it over. And then it's gonna end kind of back where he's roughly at the same position, which looks about there. Uh, so I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to separate the audio at this point. Um, there's no real reason to do this if you're making an anime GIF. It just makes my life a little cleaner when I'm thinking about things that I don't have to worry about sound when I'm going through and editing and listen to the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, so I have that. Uh, the clip itself is about five, almost six seconds long. It's not a super long clip, um, but it has uh, some action happening in that time frame. Uh, so we're good there. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out to the share option and I'm gonna go to local file. This will be a little different if you're on Windows, but the same idea happens. Uh, once I'm in local file, instead of exporting as an MP4, I'm going to be exporting as a GIF. Now, one of the things I wanted to look at in this video is the different versions of export inside of animated GIF, especially when it comes to size. Uh, so when you go into options, uh, you can decrease the dimensions. Um, right now it's shot at 1080p, uh, so full HD. If I were to output that at that size, it would be a big file, something that the internet wouldn't really like. Uh, so let's make it 25% of the size. You can also play with the frame rate. Um, this frame rate will go through and tell you how many frames per second are captured. So if I went with 30 frames a second, that'd be 30 times roughly six. Um, so I'd have 180 frames total. And generally a good rule of thumb is the more frames you have, the, the larger the file is gonna be. Uh, for websites like Twitter or something along those lines, 15 megabytes is the absolute maximum GIF size you can get. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep it under that. Let's say I wanna go to six, and we'll just see how this looks. I'm gonna hit okay, and uh, we'll just call it untitled GIF and export it. So I'm gonna reveal that in my finder. I can go through, I can see that there right now that's 2.3 megabytes, so really small file. Uh, I can also open it up with, uh, let's say, Chrome here. And we get to see what exactly is happening. So he can fall, he gets up, and uh, it just kind of goes on repeat. So it's just gonna fall forever, uh, which is slightly entertaining to me. And there's a couple other things we can do here. Um, let's say we wanted to add some text onto this. So I'm gonna go into annotations. Uh, I'll just go into basics, fine. Grab the text box and let's put on some kind of typical web font, which happens to be impact. So I have it there. I'm just gonna say 2017 so far. Now, the one thing I don't like about uh, Camtasia is they don't give you the ability to add any stroke to the image. Uh, and what I mean by that is that there's no way to add an outline around it. Uh, you'd have to bring in another image to do that. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that right now, um, but it is something that I would love for them to be able to add on to just make it a little bit nicer um, for doing text-based things inside of there. Uh, so I'm gonna go back through, I'm gonna share this again, local file, and export it as everything. It will keep my things where I had it at, and we'll see what happens. One of the other really nice things is that it exports quickly, which is great. And now when I open it with Chrome, I have my video and it goes through and uh, it kind of goes through and does its thing. Now I wanna look at a couple other options here, especially when it comes to frame rate and size. So when I go to local file and export that, uh, if I choose options, let's say I want that to be really captured at 30 frames per second, still 25%, um, I'll go through and export it. Um, let's call that untitled two so we can do a comparison between them. Notice the export's taking a little bit longer because it's generating a heck of a lot more images. And if we take a look at difference in file size, it was 2.3 megabytes uh, when it was exporting at that smaller frame rate. Uh, and with the larger frame rate, it's grown in size dramatically. 
uh, up to 12 megabytes. Uh, let's take a look at the quality and see what the difference is there. So when we look at them side by side, uh, the one on the right is the 30 frames, the one on the left is the uh, lower frame rate. And you can see there's a lot more kind of uh, feathering out and uh, some pixelation happening there. Everything on this one is much smoother. It's still not perfect, uh, but it's a much higher quality image. Now, as far as really looking at it, would you be able to tell a difference right away? Maybe, but does the internet care? Not really. So um, I think this is a, a good example of uh, lowering down the frame rates uh, for stuff that's really not essential image to capture. Because 30 frames a second, that's video quality. Uh, do you need an animated GIF to be video quality? Maybe, maybe not. But this was a quick tutorial on how to make animated GIFs and also how to kind of compare sizes and get them optimized for web. I'll see you later. If you're looking for more ways to use Camtasia, look in the description for my video course.